Morning, YouTubians. Gary, VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another fun episode today where, as you saw by the thumbnail, we're going to be testing something out. We're going to torture test this thing. Well, kind of. So Max Speeding Rods has been reaching out to me going, Gary, man, we really want to work with you again. It's been a couple years. And if you remember back a long time ago, you know, I got a couple carburetors from them. They were actually really good quality. So that's fantastic. So I said, sure, you know what? Building Jawbreaker back there, trying to get it back on the road, I need a couple things. Well, they were out of stock. And then I realized we had this hurricane coming. So I figured, you know what? Send me a generator. Let's test this thing out during a hurricane. So that's what we're gonna do. So they sent me this max speeding rods inverter generator. It's a 3200 watt running 4000 peak. Supposedly this has Bluetooth and you can link a couple of them together and all that jazz. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing real fast. Get this thing set up, fire it up, or I'm going to take you through the whole step, see how it does, and then I'll let you know how it does down the hurricane. Because I have a feeling we're going to lose power. Yeah, so let's dive into this. So first impressions, not too bad. It's a decent size. This even has a CO2 alert on it. Um, pretty cool does come with some 30 amp plugs which is nice comes with a hundred or another 30 amp plug so that's pretty cool you got your basic tools uh, I guess you want to call that a funnel your instruction manual uh, warranty information there's your parallel kit to be able to link two together and it even comes with a stu stinking cover now that is pretty neat you know it says your max speeding rods on it you got your basic quick information uh, so I'm assuming in order to add oil which Unfortunately, this does not come with oil, so you actually have to provide your own oil. But according to the thing, it says 10W30, and it's not much, so I've got some up on the shelf, so we'll throw some 1030 in it. Now, normally you'd want to check your oil, you know, before use and whatnot. I would assume that it's behind this cover. The other side has got the pull cord and, you know, on-off choke thing. So basically, pull these couple screws out, and this should pop off, but be a little nicer if those were twist tabs or something else so you wouldn't have to use tools to get the side cover off to check oil but let's go ahead and dive into it all right so it's got a couple clippy clips on there to hold it and then of course your two screws secures it all right here's your oil fill so we'll go ahead and it says note add oil there's your max line so we'll go ahead and add some oil into it now this does have a residue of oil on it and a little hint of gas to it because they do pre-run these from the factory. The little funnel screws in and it actually has a little o-ring on it. That's pretty neat. I think this is designed for more of your quart size bottles or whatever. I've got a jug here. And a little bit more, not much. All right, we're right up there to the full line. That took every ounce of a uh, little bit of 1030 I had in that jug, so perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and pop the cover back on and move on. Kind of give you a little bit better view here you've got your usb port there you've got your parallel kit you've got your co2 alert here you've got a master reset you got your low idle you even have a built-in light up top so you've got like a little light there's your your meter that shows all the different levels you've got your 30 amp 120 volt twist lock and of course your 120 volt 20 amp receptacles so unfortunately this is a 120 volt only, not a 240. And of course there's your AC circuit breaker for overload and of course a ground. To fire this thing up, looks like we just gotta turn it from uh, stop over to choke, yank her a few times, and we should be good to go. But first, go ahead and put some gas in it. Luckily this thing only holds, uh, man, it's not much. It's like 1.1 gallons of gas. And it's supposed to get phenomenal run time. So go ahead and throw some in it and fire her up.
thing runs pretty good. Running that fan, not bad. I downloaded the app. The only downfall is you have to actually register for an account. So, oh. But check this out. This is pretty freaking cool. So this is actually showing me that it's pulling 148 watts. We've been running for about seven minutes. We've got a fuel percentage, voltage, frequency, eco mode. That's pretty stinking cool. Let me uh, try to set this so we don't keep getting blasted. There we go, that's a little better. So we got the fan running on high. Let's go ahead and throw up the uh, old heat gun. That's on low with the fan running. You heard the idle kick up a little bit. Let's kick it up to high. pretty much off, we're about 1,340 watts, not bad. Kick it back down to low, kick it off, just the fan running, and it goes right back down to eco. Let's kick it up to high real fast. shabby this actually does pretty good and i like the app to be able to kind of see how things are running it'll even give you alerts on there like with a co2 alert or something so we gotta let this run for a while i didn't see anything about a break-in period i just kind of skimmed the manual too though so whoa. but uh we'll go ahead and let this thing run for a bit we'll go ahead and uh check the oil and then get this thing ready for the storm whoops I forgot to show you guys this built-in work light. This thing is cool. Check this out. So right there, you've got your, everything running, right? Hit that little button. You've actually got a work light. That is pretty stinking cool. Well, I probably should have recorded during the storm, but I didn't, so sue me. I, I don't know what to tell you. Kind of wasn't really thinking about it, but this little generator did awesome. You know, I was running a little 10,000 watt BTU spot cooler and the max speeding rods little generator did awesome. I mean, this thing only has like a one gallon capacity of fuel, right? 1.06 or whatever it is. It's supposed to get seven to eight hours roughly on a quarter load and running that spot cooler, which again is probably close to half load. I was getting about five, six hours on a gallon of gas. That's pretty impressive. Um, you know, Polar 2, the thing fires right up. I honestly, you can't go wrong this thing is definitely a great bang for the buck um you know is it is it a honda absolutely not is it worth your time and money absolutely this thing actually does really well i think i'm going to actually make this one part of the camp trailer pack and back up back up for the house as well so anyway appreciate you guys being here thanks for sticking around again i'll put links down below so make sure you check it out i don't get anything in return but you might so Check it out if you need yourself a little generator. Anyway, till the next time, guys, be kind to one another and be good.